welcome back to my channel um today is saturday i told you guys that i will be doing another video for you guys so today we're gonna be doing candy apples i want to um show you what we're working with real real quick then we're gonna get into these apples i already had the water boiling but i'm gonna tell you how much water that i put in each one of the pots the reason i'm using two saucepans is because we're doing two different color candy apples okay so today we're gonna be doing pink candy apples and also i have food coloring we're gonna do purple candy apples, you guys. So we got pink and purple. I didn't um, see any purple in the icing, the icing color. So I went and got the uh, food drop coloring for the purple. So we're doing pink and purple, you guys. And also I had my, um, I wanted to do all white candy apples, but I couldn't find the white icing color. They don't even sell it at Walmart. They don't sell no white icing color. I asked the lady that worked there, so. That's a bumper on the end. So I guess I had, she told me, I guess I had to go somewhere else. So I'm thinking like Party City or something like that, or I probably had to order it offline. I really wanted to do some all white candy apples and I wanted to put different, men, you know, decorate in with little sprinkles. So we're gonna be using yellow sprinkles, you guys. And we also gonna be using a sand dust. And we also gonna be using red sprinkles. I was looking for the green sprinkles like this. They didn't have any. They didn't have green and, um. The yellow glitter dust like either they didn't have any green i guess it's the holiday so everybody is um making their own dyi treats and stuff so a whole lot of people are buying all of uh green out they buying a whole lot of the red out too because this was the only red that they had left but every time i go i can never find a green this is my second time they don't have green at all and also we're gonna be doing blue today i really didn't want to do blue but uh this is Ryan's favorite color you guys so he begged me to do a blue candy apple so that's the reason why we got this so these are our three colors you guys our christmas themed colors we going for i know these are not traditional christmas colors but you got to think about it lights have you know, lights have yellow in it, and we're doing purple candy, apple candy, candy apple, and we're doing pink. And some people decorate their tree pink and white, pink and silver. I have seen that. It's just not the traditional colors that I have. But I wanted my Christmas video, as far as my candy apple, to be a little different. I didn't want everything always to be red and green, because that's what the most people um, grab is red and green when they're doing a the Christmas theme. Most of the time, not everybody, I'm just saying some people. So I kind of like to switch things up. In my own way because i just like doing it anyway so that's why i got some little kind of odd colors that's not traditional christmas colors but you, um i have seen these used with decorate these colors as far as with that being said so anyway guys i'm gonna sh finish showing you what we have so we can get started and also we have um some watermelon flavoring that we're gonna be using to give our candy a flavor instead of just it's just being sugar because once you do this right here with the dye and um you know you set up your candy and stuff like that dip it in the apples it's really only colored sugar so that's the reason why i got the watermelon flavor to give our candy some flavor you guys the only two colors i seen was this watermelon and also cinnamon i like cinnamon but not that much cinnamon so i opt out for the watermelon because i do love watermelon you guys okay so right here you guys my son behind me jamie say hey Hello. He wanted to help me with this video, so I told him yeah, he can help me with this video. So we have our apples already on a stick. As you can see, these are gala apples, if I'm pronouncing it right. These are gala apples. We have 15, 14 apples. I thought I had 15, you guys, but it's 14 apples. And so I, um, Jamie cleaned them, washed them, and um, cleaned them dry, pet them dry real good, and cleaned them to get all that wax off. So if you do decide to do some candy apples, you, if you have never did none, make sure that you uh, wash them with cold water and drown with a wet towel. I mean, drown drown with a dry towel, you guys. And um, get all that wax off of it because it'll make your candy stick better, you guys. So these are the apples that we're using. And um, these are just some paper straws that I purchased from Michaels that I've been having for another project that I was doing back then. So we use these straws. And also, these are some sticks um, that I purchased from Walmart today. But you can use popsicle sticks whatever kind of sticks that you want and you have to go in the arts and craft to find all this from the um, food flavoring to the um, icing color and these sprinkles right here you have to go to the arts and craft what a wedding okay now i think i explained to you guys everything that we have so just give me one second i'm gonna uh, pull my tripod down i have a, a new tripod so y'all don't have to worry about anything falling over i purchased tonight so i'm gonna show y'all what we got going on bars with the water how much i use um, how much sugar I use for this candy apple mixture. Okay, you guys. Now, I want to show y'all what we're working with as far as how you make this candy. Okay, as you can see, I already had the water going to kill time. 
because I knew I had to explain to y'all everything that we had. I just like explaining stuff to you. I don't like just make a video and not explain because I don't want to confuse nobody. But anyway, I already started the water, so we're doing two colors. That's why I have two sauce pans, you guys. Okay, so the only thing you're gonna need to make your candy part, you're gonna need sugar and corn syrup. Sugar and corn syrup. You can use vanilla extract, just a little bit like a cap of it to get a vanilla taste flavor if you want to, but I'm not gonna use that since we got the watermelon uh, flavor. I'm not gonna use any vanilla extract, but last time I made my apples, I put a little vanilla extract in. It's really good, but since we have already had a flavoring, I don't wanna, I don't want that vanilla to overpower my watermelon because I wanna taste the watermelon flavor. Okay, so like I said, you'll need these two items, sugar and, um corn syrup. You can whatever brand you want. I have the great value. Still the same. Tastes all the same. I used it before in my other candy apple video. If you go back and look at it. And that video came out really well as, as well, you guys. Okay. So, this right here is my measuring cup. This is four uh, 4.5 cups. So, we filled this all the way up to four uh, cups and we split it. So, each one of these pans have, has like two and a half cups of water in it two and a half cups of water. You don't need that much candy, you guys. It depends on how many candy apples you're making. So I'm only making 14, so then I'm doing um, two different colors, so I didn't have to fill my pots up all the way with water. You see what I'm saying? To make the candy. So it's like two and a half cups in each saucepan, you guys, if that makes sense to you guys. Okay, now, since it's boiling and the sugar, as you can see, the sugar, see how it's popping around here? If you, if you can see, it's popping around here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, Put the corn syrup in. The only thing the corn syrup is gonna do, you guys, is thicken it up. It's gonna thicken it up, your candy up. So we gonna, I don't measure you guys, I'm so sorry. But uh, if you don't understand this video, uh, I don't measure, I'm just going, I'm just eyeballing this corn syrup. I'm thinking that you can use that one cup of corn syrup, one cup, one cup, you guys, one cup. Think about it, I have two and a half cups of water, so I'm thinking one cup of corn syrup will do the job. So I'm, I'm basically just eyeballing you guys. So I say if you're doing um, two and a half cups of water like I'm doing, use about a cup and a half of corn syrup. That should do it. Okay, you guys. As you can see, this um, I'm going to pull the tripod over so y'all can see it. As you can see, this candy is really cooking. So I'm about to show you guys the method that you can use if you don't have a candy thermometer to um, let you know that your um, candy is ready. And you can turn your stove off and put your coloring in if you're, in your flavoring if you want to use flavoring. The, the flavoring, the watermelon flavoring like I have is optional. So it's up to you. Hold on you guys, I'm gonna show you the method. So basically you just get you a glass of water. You don't have to fill it up, just get you a, a glass of water. Make sure you try to use a clear glass so you can see it better. Okay, you get a spoon of your candy. Be careful because this can is really hot. You can burn yourself. And you pour it in your water. Just like that. Now, if the candy starts to curl, that means that it's ready. Now, as you can see, my candy did curl, but it didn't float. It's still at the bottom, so that means it's almost ready. It's not quite ready. Now, when I try it again a second time for you guys, once you pour the candy with the spoon inside the water, it's gonna be floating and it's gonna start stringing up and curling up. That means that your candy is ready to be dipped in your apple. So it's not quite ready because it's, it's just sat there at the bottom. So we'll do it again. So I'm gonna give about five more minutes and this candy right here will be done. But this batch right here is cooking a little slower for some reason. I don't know, this is it's on a different burner, but for some reason this burner right here is cooking real, real fast. Okay, you guys, let's try to season our candy ready now. So we're gonna try the method again. Get your glass of water, you guys. Get a little bit of your um, candy. And place it inside the water. If it floats and start curling up, that means your candy is ready. I think it's ready. See how it's floating, it's sitting up now. You wanna see it now, Wayne, before it fall? Uh -huh. See how it's sitting up, y'all? You see that uh, sitting up? At first it was flat. That means the candy is ready. But I can look at the candy and tell it's ready. See how it's sitting up a little bit? It's not flat like it was? Yeah. That means our candy is ready, y'all. So this is a method that you guys use if you don't have a candy at the moment. So we're gonna start, we're gonna um, start dipping these apples. 
So first of all, like I said, this burner over here seems like it's just cooking a little slower to me. And so I'm gonna uh, put this dash right here on this burner, you guys. And I'm gonna come back, let me get this uh, situated how I need to uh, sit this hot pot <laughs> saucepan. And then we're gonna come back, we're gonna do the flavoring and we're gonna do the coloring. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna put out, we're gonna do the pink first. So we're gonna put out pink um, candy um, coloring, ice in the side, our candy. All hot candy, yes. So this is the pink. It don't look pink going down, but it's most definitely pink, you guys. So just use the whole thing. So I'm just kind of using the end of my spoon because this spoon is too wide to fit in this little bitty thingy container. So I'm using um, the end of my spoon, you guys. So I'm trying to get all of it out. So I got as much as I could, all of it out. And so also, give me another one, baby. This is very hot, so be careful, you guys. As you can see, you see the bubbles in it. Just keep stirring so the bubbles leave out. And also, put it right here. Also, we're gonna use our wild amount of flavoring to flavor our candy. Kind of watch the spoon so it won't fall all the way down in there. So I'm gonna kind of hold it like this because it's trying to fall in. So we're gonna use water metal flavor. I'm gonna use the whole thing, you guys, because it's very small. So, oh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells just like watermelon. So we use the whole thing, you guys. And also, um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this pink from the um, food coloring that I bought. I'm also gonna use a little of that paint to get it more darker pink. As you can see, I'm doing a couple of drops. Okay. So I'm just stirring. It smells so good, y'all. This watermelon, I'm telling y'all. So just keep stirring, you guys. As you can see, this how it looks. It don't look pink to me, it look red, but it's pink. Sit this spoon right here. Okay, we're gonna start dipping our apple. Okay, you guys, so we about to dip our first apple. Um, at first I was uh, saying I was disappointed in the pink, but I put it back on the stove and I kept stirring it a little more. I didn't add any more coloring into anything. It actually looked like it got pinker. At first it looked a little red to me. Okay, so it worked it. So we're gonna dip our first apple, you guys. So what you do is, the reason I'm tilting it forward up this way, because I want y'all to see what I'm doing on camera. See if I tip it back, y'all won't see how it roll in a candy, but you most definitely, if you make it home, turn it this way and um, roll your apple. But I'm gonna do it this way so y'all can see what I'm doing. So you dip, we dipping our first apple. And you kind of tilt it like that. Try not to get none on the um, stick, but you know, it's possible a possibility that a little might get on the stick. But you know, if you want to try to, just try to keep it neat if possible. And you kind of roll your apple like this, you guys. As you see, I'm doing a roll in the apple. And my uh, burner is off, you guys, it's off. And you kinda just let some of that excess drip off. Okay, and so I side it right there for a minute. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I think I wanna dip it, just try the uh, gold dust, you guys. So I have the gold dust in the bowl. So I'm gonna kinda tilt my bowl and dip these apples. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna put it on my clean parchment paper over here. Okay, so we're gonna do a second apple, you guys. These straws right here is not holding up good because the apple is moistened, um, I guess, in, inside. So these um, paper straws are not holding up how I want them. So I'm still gonna use them, but they're not holding up how I want it. So I'm gonna do my second apple, you guys. And we're gonna try the blue this. I'm going to kind of hit some of it off. Okay, we're going to go ahead and roll it. 
in a blue dust. Mine's not gonna be perfect, you guys, at all. Trust me, it's not gonna be perfect. This is my second time doing candy apples, and this is my first time doing it with the decorations like this. So this is our first apple. I'm gonna put it over here. Well, second apple, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna turn this over because this part is more firmer. Okay, we're gonna dip. See what I'm saying? I'm not digging these sticks at all. You guys. Hold on, y'all. Okay, you guys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all and be real. These scrolls right here, they're not worth buying because they get soft because the app is moist in the inside and it's not gonna be strong enough to hold it up. So, don't use them, and um, also, I think these are, don't get these. Get the wood kind, they better, and I had some wood kind from um, the last time I did some candy apples, and so I'm just using the wood screws, and they very strong, and they can hold it up. I wasn't even thinking, I think these like for the cake pops. I grabbed the wrong ones, so sorry about that, you guys. Cause I don't want y'all to go bad, and then they don't hold up. So that's why I'm just being honest with y'all, telling y'all, but uh, certain parts um, has been edited out this video. So we're gonna dip in now. Uh, we have one apple dip, this is it. Right here, you guys, we have one apple dip and decorated. So I'm gonna do dip a uh, couple more in front of you guys and decorate a couple more in front of you guys. So just kinda roll your um, apple, tilt your pot and kinda roll your apple. Okay, see that? Oh my God, look at that y'all. Look at that. I'm gonna pull the tripod up a little more. Make sure y'all see this. Y'all see that it is so beautiful. So now what I'm gonna do is, what color we wanna go with? Let's try yellow, you guys. Let's try yellow. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sprinkle it on there instead of rolling it. Cause first I tried rolling it and it didn't work out well. So I'm just being honest with y'all. So I'm gonna sprinkle with my hand. The yellow dust, you guys. And you can do it how you want to do it. It's no particular way that you have to do this. You can sprinkle it where you want the sprinkles to fall. And as you can see, the candy is still falling a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep all the sprinkles on the top of this yellow. It is so pretty, you guys. So as you can see, this is our second candy apple. It's so pretty, you guys. So I'm gonna stick this over here. Yes, it is pretty. It's so cute, it looks like this straw right here kinda holding up, so I'm gonna try to use it, you guys. So we're gonna dip another one. So the kids, you hear them in the background chewing, they already eating their candy apple, you guys. And how it tastes, y'all? Good. Good. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the um, silver dust. I did one already, but my daughter eating that one. So I'm gonna sit that right here, and we're gonna do the silver dust, you guys. Ooh, I almost went in this house of candy. I'm sorry, y'all. But this video has really been trying me. But I'm gonna get it right, though. So remember, after you get to roll on your apple, if you're using the, the silver dust looking glitter, anything, candy sprinkles, you have to move fast because if the candy dry, it's not gonna stick. So you actually have to move fast. So this is the silver dust you guys that I'm using. And I'm tilting it so some can fall off. The excess dust can fall off. So this had look, you guys. Not perfect at all, but it's a candy apple. It's my first time doing this. I'm not a professional candy apple maker. I'm trying this. This is my second try. <laughs> so this had look, you guys. Oh my God, it look kinda cute. 
look kind of cute, you know what I'm saying? It look kind of cute. So I'm gonna do one more pink. I'm just gonna roll my candy apple, you guys. And if you want to, you can keep your uh, keep your stove on um the stove top on low, so your candy won't get cold. And then when it get cold, it starts to thicken. So I got mine on low to keep it warm and thin it out. So we're gonna do blue, you guys. Let's do the blue. Ooh, see that? Uh. Okay. So we're gonna do the blue, you guys. Like I said, it's my second time making candy apple, but the first time I already had the kebab sticks and they work very well. Do not get these sticks right here. I think these for cake pops. I grabbed the wrong ones, though they were. So make sure you get the, if you do get any sticks, make sure they just wood because you know the apples are moist in the inside and I wasn't even thinking when I went to the store. So I was trying to hurry up and come home and do the video. And I forgot, you can't use like this paper kind of um, sticks because like I said, the apples are moist in the inside and it's not gonna be strong enough. I forgot about this, so make sure, don't forget to get the wood sticks you guys. Thank God I had some. So this is how our fourth apple look. I'm gonna put a little more dust on here. Okay, you guys, we are back. We're gonna start with the second bash, the purple food coloring for the purple candy apples. Okay, I'm just dropping. I did like probably 10 drops, I guess. <laughs> I didn't even count it, you guys. A whole lot is, is not dropping out. As you can see, it's still filled up, so. We'll stir it and see how the color look. If we need more color, we'll add more. So the purple, oh, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling it, y'all. I'm feeling it. Look at that. Y'all see that purple? Yes. I like that. Okay. I'll turn my burner off, you guys. And as you can see, they have bubbles in it. So I'm not going to dip the apples so some of the bubbles leave. Okay. As you can see, the bubbles are dissolved. See it? Okay. So now we're gonna add the watermelon flavoring. My hands are red, y'all, from that red green apple. You guys, it's yeah, crazy. My hands are red. I'm gonna use the whole thing. I don't know how I'm gonna get this dye off my hand. I'm gonna go soak my hand in some alcohol. <laughs> and try to get this dye off my hand. Okay, it smells so good, y'all, this watermelon flavor. Oh my God, I wish y'all could just smell this wrong. Okay, this has a look, you guys. So, we're gonna start dipping our first apple. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple of minutes. Get a couple of minutes. You see the smoke coming from them, get a couple of minutes. And it's dead hot, you guys. So, we're gonna dip our first apple. I'm gonna tilt your pot, and I did the same method, you guys. I showed y'all the first time. That'll let you know when your um, candy is ready. But really, you'll smell it when you start smelling your candy. Um, the corn syrup and the sugar, you know, and the water, all that right there. When you start smelling it, it's all it's almost ready. But you still can use that method to make sure. But you can smell it and know when it's ready because you'll start smelling it, the sugar. Okay, you guys. This is cute. And I'm just rolling this apple in it. And this how it came out, you guys, the purple. I mean, look how pretty this is, so glossy. I'm talking about this pretty. This is pretty, came out way better than the other one. <laughs> the other one's cute too, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna show them to y'all again, but they cute. But this one right here is really pretty. I think I'm gonna dip it one more time. Just dip it one more time to get a little more purple. You can dip it how many times you want. I'm gonna dip mine one more time, roll it a couple times. I dipped it two times, you got it rolled around a couple times. See that, how glossy and pretty it is? And so I'm just holding it like this, you guys, let all the excess candy drip off. You don't need all it, because it's gonna drip off anyway, so just hold it over. And yeah, look at that little bitty um, candy we have. 
that's why I say you don't, you know a whole lot I mean a little bit goes a long way because this is a little bit and this will do like 15 apples by itself I think I think it will okay what color y'all want to go with let's go with yellow let's go with yellow you guys okay we're gonna go with yellow so you can just decorate it how you want I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle my eyes on there you guys like that. Remember, you got to move fast. Yeah, remember to just move fast. Because if the can is dry, and if nothing will stick. And it's like this can is drying real, real quick, as you can see. Because a whole lot of my sprinkles fell on this uh, wax parchment paper, I mean. But that's okay, though. Gonna get a little messy as far as with your hands, but it's okay, it's all worked it at the end. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. Ain't this pretty? Okay, we're gonna do another one, you guys. Purple. Oh, no. okay, okay, just let it drip, y'all. Drip, drip. So we're gonna go in with some blue. I'm gonna dip it one more time like I did the other one. I'm, you know what, I'm gonna dip two of them twice and dip the other last two once to see if the purple gonna be different. That's what I'm gonna do, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna let some of this uh, drip off as much as I can. This candy, SS candy. Kinda move it around, don't bend it down too much but kind of lean it a little bit and keep leaning they'll make it dip and set quicker it'll stop dipping and set and you can do it like this too sit it for a minute and then kind of lift it up see see what i did now stop it for dripping okay good some more coming hold on you ain't about to mess up, that's what you think you're gonna do. Okay, we gotta move fast, you guys. You don't have to be perfect. I told y'all, I, I don't bake a whole lot and do a whole lot of desserts like this, so it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be good. I don't know how to decorate with candy and stuff, but I can decorate a house though. And I can cook. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Ain't that pretty? I mean, you just, everything ain't gotta be even around. It will make it look good and unique. Okay, you guys. We gonna do another apple. This is gorgeous. Y'all, I'm feeling this. So remember I said, I'm just gonna twirl this one one time. Well, I'm gonna dip it one time. Ah, uh, look at this. Ooh, I'm loving this purple, y'all. Yes. Just gonna let it sit. Okay, we did blue. We're gonna do, uh, we did yellow. We're gonna do some candy sprinkles, the red ones. Doing the candy sprinkles, you guys. I can't come close to the counter because the candy will be everywhere, all on the floor and the stove, you guys. But just I'm trying to hold up, y'all can see what I'm doing. So it's getting all on the stove now. Okay, you guys, look at that. What? Okay, you guys, so we're going our last one. Here we go. Well, I know. See how another stick done came out. 
Oh no, you ain't messing up on me. There we go. And that's purple. Mm-hmm. I like the purple. I like the pink too, but I'm really feeling this purple. I like the purple and blue. Yeah. Kind of keep tipping it over, you guys. That you guys, I mean, ain't supposed to be in the freezer now. Hmm, you don't you know, freeze it, let them sit up and they get hard. Okay. Guys, I'm, I ain't gonna sprinkle it, all I'm gonna do is roll this. I'm gonna roll it, but everything stayed at the bottom, so I'm gonna sprinkle some on the sides. I like this gold dust. You gotta get if you get a good color this go with I believe it'll be off the chain, especially with that white. And they didn't have white. That's why I wanted the white candy apples. Ooh, it's dry quick too. It's drying quick. Yeah, y'all, sure other people do it, it'd be way better and they just put their dust on there and be so pretty, but as y'all know, like I said, I'm not a professional, but I'm trying, but mine's look pretty good though to do this two times. Close that refrigerator up and close over. Look at, look at that, you guys. Y'all see that? Look at that, okay? Okay, you guys, we are finally finished. So I'm showing y'all the finished look of these candy apples, you guys. Oh my God, did I laugh at the way I tie my bowls? <laughs> but I tried my best, you guys. Look at those candy apples, they are so pretty. This is supposed to be pink, y'all, but it don't look pink to me. But that's okay. We'll find the right color next time, but it was pink, but maybe we need to use some kind of booster with it or something like that, I don't know. So we'll find out, I'll find out and research it. But these are the candy apples that we decorated, you guys. They look so good. The kids already ate theirs. They said they were so good, y'all. I like these right here. They are so pretty. How the purple came out. I think that with these um, candy apples, with these colors, I think that you have to use some kind of paste or a booster to make the color pop more. I'm going to um, Google this, that information, you guys, and find out. And I'm going to do another batch of these candy apples with a different color, with two more different colors, you guys. But these are the candy apples, my Christmas edition. Yes, these are the candy apples, you guys. So these supposed to be, I think these supposed to be the purple. <laughs> but yeah, I tried my best. They still look good and the kids said they tasted good. And these are the pink ones. But I like them though. They look, they look cute, you know. This is my second time doing them not a professional candy apple maker. I know some people that do it for a living, now they can rock them, they can rock the heck out them colors, make them pop, they look dark. Whatever color they use, for instance, they use the pink, I'm talking about it really look like pink, like a hot pink. So yeah, I'm not a professional. I'm just an at-home cook, you know, cooking for my kids or whatever, but they are pretty, they did come out pretty. Especially this one, this one very glossy. This dash, so yeah. So that's it, you guys. These are the candy apples. They are so cute. I hope y'all like this. Okay, thank you guys um, for tuning in tonight with me. I hope y'all like this video once again. And so that's the end of our candy apples. I will be doing another video tomorrow, you guys. And we'll be doing another um, do-it-yourself holiday sweet treat, you guys. So yeah, I will be doing another video tomorrow for you guys. Like I said, if you like this video, you guys, please thumbs it up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel because your girl got a whole lot of good more stuff coming. Yeah. So these are our candy apples. I just wish I can give y'all one of them right now. I just really wish y'all could taste them. They taste so good with the watermelon flavor, you guys. So yeah. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in once again. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in my um, video. We'll do another holiday sweet treat. Do it yourself. Y'all have a blessed, blessed Saturday, and bye.